Oh no, there's an ad. Hey everyone, I think you should be looking at Dark Forces 2, Jedi Knight, mm, and I can hear my own, I can hear my own dumb voice, and let's see if the sound is synced up. Hey, cool. Streamlag confirms that everything is working. So I'm gonna. I've got my chat on the phone here. I don't know what's going on with the window border. Um, that looks like the window border. It's uh, poking its little head in. So I hope that is not too infuriating. Um, it's a very old game, uh, so maybe it's using some goofy version of. Oh goodness! And that is what will happen to you when you're playing. Dark Forces 2, Jedi Knight. Um, yeah, that is a bummer. All right, I'm playing. Yeah, stream lag is such that I'm seeing everything happen in the past. Um, yeah, I can totally notice that too. Like, let me see if. Um, oh, maybe I shouldn't have this open. Oh my goodness! Wow, that's very interesting. I'm going into the Tron universe, I guess. Turn to game. All right, how about now? Is everything good? I'm going to assume yes. Nope. Nope. It's back. Blurp. Hmm. I'm not really sure what to do about that. Yeah, I'm on Windows 7, and etc. Um. Oh! Dramatic objective noise. And it's the Um I should maybe Oh, I have thermal detonators. Hmm. Y'all are getting my speakers, y'all are getting my webcam audio, but also my uh oh, and of course Windows doesn't doesn't recognize the uh um my headphones my headset it's actually one of the few cases of uh something working better in linux for me than it does in windows as far as hardware compat okay Okay, I'm hearing that. Okay. Oh, goodness, this is going to be too loud. Hmm. Maybe I should do it on a global level? I'm sorry, I should have uh, kind of messed with all this stuff before I alerted y'all. Okay, that's tolerable. Alright. So yeah, this is the second level of Dark Forces 2, Jedi Knight. I don't know, yeah. Just calling it the full title just for, you know, just to be pedantic. Okay, oh my goodness. This level has Z-axis. Kind of poorly implemented z-axis, kind of, just because that's like that's a real steep angle, and the guy's just raining damage down on us. It's not very cool. But hey, he dropped a rotating thingy, and now I can throw it at people that I hate. 
yeah, stream looks all right there. Yeah, everything's cool. Um, let me know in the chat if anything falls out of sync or whatever. Yeah, so uh, I haven't played this game in probably 12 years, I want to say. Whoa. I'm going to try and talk cohesively and play. But sometimes you might just hear me swearing and eyeing. So, yeah, like I said, um, I played the heck out of this back in the day, but the last time I would have gone back to it probably would have been 2002 or one, maybe. It was a long time ago, and I don't remember it that well. And I kind of wanted to, uh, you know, uh, go back and see how it holds up, given that I do tend to go back to old, weird, janky FPSs like this. And, you know, these graphics ain't no thing. These graphics are fine. It's, it's interesting visually. Um, this engine uh, used vertex lighting, I believe, uh, and so they weren't having to paint like tons and tons of light map pixels. And so you just have these, this isn't a very good demonstration of it, but you can just have these huge areas um, that was really striking for its time uh, because there would just be these vast vistas that uh, Quake and its ilk could not manage. And yeah, these are the, uh, these are the innocent people. Hey! Volume game is really low now, it seems. Um, hmm. Hmm. Well, look out. Thank you, ma'am, wherever you are. Some good and Star Wars-y textures. So yeah, one of the uh, one of the fairly uh, amateurish by modern standards things that uh, Jedi Knight does is um, is that uh, it gives you it's not a choice, but it gives you you know you can play as light side or dark side, and that's like it comes down to a turning point about halfway through the game where you become either a good Jedi or a bad Jedi, and it's actually based on the number of civilians that you kill in these beginning little sections. So they're basically measuring, like, you know, your essential goodness as a human being and whether or not you're going to uh, shoot lightning out of your fingertips by how much collateral damage you rack up, um, which is just flimsy even by the standards of circa 2008 video game morality choices. But there you have it. Um, that's a thing. These are, these are the big areas that I was talking about. Uh, there was a thing earlier in the, in the earlier level where um, you were looking at the back of a, uh, of, a, of a freighter and you recognize that the shape of that craft um, from the X-Wing and TIE Fighter games. So, Because as far as I know, those aren't in the original Star Wars movies. Um, so that's kind of an interesting, like, you know, callback to other LucasArts games makes sense, um, but it's also kind of impressing you the scale at which this game happens relative to the uh, to the games where you're like a little starfighter. Um, that's okay, this is kind of an interesting space. It looks like it'll be a pain to navigate, but that's fine. This is a death fall. There's a lot of these. And yeah, the uh, the controls for this don't, don't feel that great. Like, um, yeah, like, the, the feel of, of, of this compared to, uh, certainly compared to Quake 1, you know, any of the Quake games, um, it's not that great. It, it feels kind of clunky, um, and they, you know, it, it you end up, uh, you know, trying to negotiate these death falls and these precarious ledges, but they don't really, I don't know, yeah, the controls just aren't very, uh, just aren't very polished. And it's the first we've seen of these guys. Those guys were actually kind of difficult in uh, Dark Forces 1, but I think they've been... I don't know. These guys are just... Oh, yeah, look at his texture. Yeah, he's just... Uh, he's just a gross little weirdo in first-generation 3D land. Uh, but, yeah, but that's fine. Um, walking, walking, walking. Yeah, I guess there's, these droids probably also count as collateral damage, so you're a bad person if you... Uh, if you uh, if you if you accidentally collateral damage droids as well, I 
again, one of the reasons I was saying that that that, that whole thing is kind of amateurish uh, by modern standards is that is that you can tell that the level designers of these first two levels, at least, put uh, put these innocents in the way, in like between you and where the enemies were going to be, and that's just kind of you know that's kind of a cheap shot, you know. I think the level, I think the level designers might be the might be the dark jedis in that case. So this is a really huge open area. Oh come on, wow! I guess these things do really super weak splash damage because uh, I feel like I was hitting near those guys and they weren't. That uh, wasn't killing them. Getting some wind ambience in here just to. Tell the player, be afraid of heights. And there's a lot of that in this game. Some cool brutalist, brutalist, or brutalesque. I like that. Uh, you know, imperial architecture. I feel like the uh, yeah, like the we can do large spaces but not geo detail uh, works pretty well for brutalist architecture. I mean, like because these are really very few brushes or shapes or whatever. Um, but it, it works really well, you know, because they're able to do the lighting thing, and it's it's fairly dramatic, and uh, it's cool. I dig it. I dig it. And they have a pretty versatile library of textures here. I mean, they use these for the entire game. They just work them, but, uh, you know, that's the Star Wars. Oh, these guys. They're more accurate, but they take fewer hits. They're kind of like the Imperial officers from Dark Forces 1. Bleh. And that's also a death fall. They're not very telegraphed. There's just kind of, you know, death falls hiding under rocks here. They're ubiquitous. Okay. Who's shooting at me? Oh dear. Yeah, this game is as brutal as any I've played in recent memory, uh, as far as um, as far as just uh, telegraphing like where an enemy that is not on your level is shooting you from and stuff like that. I mean, these levels, you know, end up having verticality uh, a lot, um, and yeah, you'll just get. You'll just be getting shot in the top of the head by uh, by random jerks. Everybody's got the same little fancy suit here. It's like they're going to be hanging out at Quarks on Deep Space Nine or something. Shield generators. I always thought the little shield pickup thingies looked like uh, kind of looked like VR helmets. Or something. They're, they're weird, but they're shields. And boy, do you need him, because uh, of the style of FPS game, this is definitely one of the... This definitely puts you in the role of damage sponge. Uh, I mean, you're... I mean, you're pretty maneuverable, but... um, oh, dropped a thermal detonator. It didn't go off for a while. Um, you're pretty maneuverable, but really, like, bullets travel quickly enough that you just end up getting hit a lot. You take a lot of hits, and then you just gorf down a whole bunch of, you know, shield pickups, and that's just how